This is essentially what's called a, a system of uh, coupled oscillators. <clears throat> so just as a, a neurons are coupled to each other, right? Like the probability for a neuron to fire is a function of like other neurons firing in its surroundings and, and also like synaptic connections to it. Um, you can think of a neuron as an oscillator. The, the problem with neurons is that they're like very spiky and almost kind of like very discrete, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's almost kind of like zero, 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 one, right? Like if you zoom out a little bit, and you get to the level of populations of neurons. If you look at kind of like a cortical column or like a region of the brain, we're like, okay, there's like 10,000 neurons here. Then the oscillations are not spiky anymore, mm. right? Because you actually have a big percentage of the neurons that are like all kind of activating roughly in the same time. Mm. And this is, mm -hmm. as far as I understand, like the theory for where brain waves come from, right? Like theta yeah. waves, alpha waves, gamma waves. It's... Yes, this is. And, um, because in, in fact, right, like you, you could have a huge amount of activity in your brain with like close to like no recorded EEG, right? Because on average, that is that kind of the population level activity and oscillations, they're actually more than just the sum of the parts. 